Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Late Tech Customs. Today we have a few things to get done and that starts right away with this car right here. Today we will be doing some, well, nice mods on the 2012 because at this current time if you guys are not caught up, I recently, well say two months ago I bought a Honda Accord which you guys probably seen in the previous video and this was initially my dad's car. My dad was really fond of the Accord and we actually did a straight swap so I got me the 2012 and uh, my dad has the Accord now. So, well, because this car is in my ownership now, I get to modify the car I would like it, actually. Well, so this is how I got the car for my dad. I didn't mention this previously, but it did fit four brand new FM800 Dunlops on this car, 1M5, 50, 15 inch tires. And, um, well, hopefully today we'll be replacing it with these spoon mags which I recently purchased from a friend of mine. And um, these tires I bought brand new. I, were, or I was gonna sell these tires, but these mags popped up. I had these mags in the loop for probably like three months. <laughs> Ended up buying them. So now I have a choice which you guys can comment down below. I could either fit these mags on the 2012 or I could fit these mags on Shannon's Civic. Comment down below on which car you would like to see these mags because I'm not entirely sure if I'll be fitting these mags on today with what all I have going on here today. By the way, I don't want you guys to get confused between the Ranix RSI and the Toyota RXI right here. So this is a 2012, 1.6 2012, this is a 1.8 1612 right here. VVTLI. And I think VVTI, uh, honestly, I'm quite new to the Toyota world, so I'm, I'm learning as we're going on. But today we are finally installing a sound stereo in this car. This has been long overdue. In this car we have the Blue B20 VTX old Pioneer radio. I'm sure if you guys can remember that one right here, the Bluetooth radio. And um, it only has the front speakers that's playing in the car. The rear speakers are completely messed up. We still have a few um, decisions to make on the rear speakers because um, we have a set of 6x9s here that came out of my B20 VTEC because I recently replaced the speakers. These are the OG 5-way Pioneer speakers. These speakers are probably, well, older than me. I think they're probably like 25 years old around there. Okay, not older than me, but anyways, we have the 6x9s right here. We have a Targa 2D, or oh, a Targa Thump. Uh, 4, 4S, uh, SVC subwoofer in a, a well, enclosed subwoofer box. We have a 4 channel um, energy audio amplifier. We have a fuse, we have the power wires, the RCA's, the remote wire, the ground wire, and the fuse. We have some sprayer, not entirely sure if you're going to use this because just in case we need to spray a few stuff in the process. We have some nice new nuts here for the wheels as well, in case we do fit the wheels on the car. You can see right there because these uh, original Toyota wheels, they run with a specific wheel lug um, with like a nice uh, washer on. So obviously if you do aftermarket wheels on these cars, you unfortunately need to change the wheel lugs as well. And luckily for me, I bought those wheel lugs initially for my blue B20 VTEC. But if you're going to be fitting these wheels on either Shannon's car or this car, we'll be using the lugs for those wheels on whatever car will be fitting those wheels on. But, probably for the most exciting part, or the few mods we will be doing, that's maybe wheels. We are definitely installing the sound steering in the car. And one other thing I want to do, I potentially wanted to lower the car. Um, that depends if we will be running those tires or those wheels because those are one and 545, meaning if I do fit those wheels on the car, the wheel gap will still be slightly bigger. And the car will be slightly lower, so I just need to lower the car slightly more. Um, which is obviously not ideal for dailing a car. But I really would like to see how this car looks with the spoon max on. So comment down below 
20 wel voor Spoon Max. Ocean is die 16 Civic with Spoon Max. Comment down below. Like I mentioned previously, I think these are 5 inch speakers or 6 inch speakers here in the back. And I'm not entirely sure if, um, well, I should fit the 6x9s because if I do fit this, below this board is metal. And that metal needs to be cut. And I don't have anything to cut that metal in order to fit the 6x9s in the car. So I have a choice to make. Um, yeah, I'm still 50-50 what I'm going to do. But we'll see how the process goes because maybe if I can find a set of uh, mid speakers here laying somewhere, I can fit it in this car and... This car should be sorted and I'll just keep the 6x9 or 6x9s for, for a different vehicle. But the mod I'm gonna start off with and the mod and the mod I'm most excited for are these trumpets right here. Woo! I actually bought this with a deal um, a while ago. I've had these trumpets probably laying here like for six or eight months and never fit it in the car. Because like I said, my daddy was using the car, never had time to fit it in the car. And one, there's one problem I have with the trumpets is that, or two problems actually, I'm not entirely sure if it will fit in the plenum. And the plenum is uh, the cover around the throttles and the trumpets that's currently stuck on the tuning valve standing right behind me. Um, that's the one thing. And the second thing is, when we rebuild this engine on this car, the car has a silver top on, or a silver top head on, and the bottom end are both completely black top. So that's the hydraulic pulley and all that. Um, I'm sure the Toyota guys will probably know exactly what I'm referring to right here. And the main reason why I rebuilt the car like that is initially or eventually when we do get the black top head, everything at the bottom is really black top and we can put the black top head on and then we need 45 more throttles because the silver top 20 valve came up with 43 more throttles and the black top 20 valve came on or came with 45 more th well, throttles. And right here, these trumpets, which many of the guys get confused to think that these are throttles, these are not the throttles, these are trumpets. Um, don't worry, I also got confused. But these trumpets are 45 mil, so they're like a mil, two mil bigger than the factory trumpets or the factory throttles on this car. So we'll see how that goes. We have material for it and we'll be using that. And how I actually inquired that is, which I actually didn't think I told you guys before. This car has a fifth um, RXI blade mag in the boot, which is actually a replica because the car has OEM wheels on. And I refurb these wheels by Truton a couple of months ago because two wheels were buckled, two tires had flat spots on where the heavy vibration, and we got that sorted by sorting out the wheels, respring all four wheels, sorting the buckles out, and buying four brand new um, tires on the car. And the fifth wheel in the boot is unfortunately an aftermarket mag, but it's still a blade. So whenever I do get a pop wheel or a flat tire, I can literally swap it out with a mag in the boot, which is a good thing and a bad thing because you tend to sometimes forget about it because you have a, a first wheel, it's the same like your mags. A lot of people would understand because rocking with a TV, that's something you don't really want to do. So you will probably get the original wheel on your car repaired right away. But long story short, that has been a hectic intro to this video. And um, well, let's get everything started. I'm gonna start straight away with the trumpets. We're gonna get the plenum removed. I'm not gonna really go into detail to get those um, things removed. I know it's probably a bit too much. Wait, why is this bonnet like this? Oh, it's just full of dust. It looks almost like it's faded to something. I was stripping on that now. Just full of dust a little. But um, yeah, get this um, bonnet open, get everything sorted, and we can just start right away with installing these trumpet right here and obviously I'm gonna give you guys a before and after with the plenum currently on before I think I'm gonna do this with the plenum on with the plenum off with the factory um, throttles or th factory trumpets on with those trumpets on, on with the plenum off and afterwards with the plenum on with those ones I'm gonna see how I feel or what um, the time or the time allows to um, no, for us to be shown on this video. But yeah, let's get started straight away.
One thing I actually didn't know is that, um, just excuse the dogs, they're chewing something here, yeah? that these, um, well, previous trumpets are actually plastic. Well, my cousin actually told me that they're all plastic. It's my first um, encounter with seeing plastic, um, well, I would say trumpets or tubes, or throttle tubes, whatever you would like to, to call it. But we will be replacing these with these. So, let me just show you guys how it will be sitting. And that right there, that's how we'll be sitting at the current stage. So apparently my mechanic, well, Rafat, he mentioned that these will give me, uh, well, the slightest, um, well, a throttle body response, I would say. I wouldn't say this is a little bit faster. Comment down below if you guys think uh, which one works best. Obviously, a lot of people would say that, well, from, how can I state it, from Toyota, that these are what they fitted on the original car so these should perform better than these but well there are some kind of hacks out there which you could make your car perform a little better especially or specifically talking about if you upgrade the size of your exhaust that's my example one very very common thing people do to well enhance the performance of the vehicle and in my current stage i still have a stock exhaust and branch on and i'm starting with the intake so hopefully this actually gives me a bitchy more power and well maybe make the car sound a bitchy better but i think i'm just gonna give them a good clean quickly and um yeah maybe spray them all black real quick We finally managed to get the trumpets on. It's looking super sweet. So now uh, we just need to get the panel on. I was uh, kind of working in this area just to move like the induction of, or the for factory induction. And um, I just wanted to see how everything would look if I had to build uh, an induction. But for now, I just kind of touched this area up with some uh, rattle can respray or rattle can spray I had because it was quite rusty and the metal was exposed. So, well, just gave that a nice rattle can spray job at there. Nothing professional at all. Still quite rough, but at least you can see the colors very, very close to, well, the car's color. Well, no, at least I would think it's close. <laughs> so, we'll get the planet one, get everything back in, then we'll give the car first startup and, and we'll hear yeah, how she sounds. This is a riff with the good of no This is a riff. Check me out, check me out. Check you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. 
So because of not getting the proper equipment to cut uh, through the metal for the 6x9s, these are the speakers that originally came out of the car, that the car was purchased with. And well, although they look a little bit messed up, they actually do still work. So I'll be making use of these speakers for the time being. Well, towards the end of the night, I did manage to get the spoons fitted on the 2012, which honestly for me was the best look of the car, as yet, as you can see with the pictures on the screen. I unfortunately did not have any videos taken of um, well, the spoons on the 2012, but the, the pictures really don't do it justice. You had to see this car rolling on the road. But unfortunately, due to um, unforeseen circumstances, I ended up selling the spoons with the tires to uh, Keegan, which you guys will also see on the screen, a video and a few pictures of his car. And um, well, uh, let me just tell you guys this, in the next video guys will probably understand why there were a few stuff sold and why the YT is in the state it currently is. But that's also the reason why I upgraded my sound stereo because i ended up replacing the sound stereo that was in this car with um, a 10 inch targa subwoofer and a 8000 watt four channel power base amplifier and like i said the reason for these upgrades will all be explained in the next upcoming video so stay tuned for that i'll see you guys in the next one just trust the process and you guys will see the reasons behind the choices I had to make peace out.